If you're struggling with how to annotate PDFs in EndNote, then this video is going to help you by giving you the step-by-step -step instructions you need to highlight, comment your PDFs. I'm Dr. Elena Eister. I got my PhD in chemistry and I founded the Science Grad School Coach to help you complete your research with more confidence and less effort. Today, I'm gonna jump in and go ahead and show you EndNote and how to create these annotated PDFs within EndNote. So here we have my EndNote right here, and I'm going to click on one of these papers. If you're struggling to even import your papers into EndNote, check out the video above all about how to import your papers from Google Scholar into EndNote, and you'll see exactly how I got these papers in here. So once you have papers in here, you can have the PDFs in here as well. And the nice thing is that you can actually annotate on these PDFs. You always have the side window here that gives you some information about each of your things and helps you to see the PDFs, but it's really hard to annotate within this window. So instead, if you double click on it, it is going to open up this second window that gives you more options of what you get to do. So it gives you all the basic information here that you can manually edit, but over here, it gives you the actual PDF. So if you're looking at your PDFs through EndNote instead of through a different browser, you can actually do some annotations within EndNote. So you can add a sticky note, and this is basically a PDF comment onto a certain section. You can highlight the selected text by toggling on this guy. You can underline specific text, and then you can strike out specific text as well. So if you're reading through this and you're think that, you know, this sentence is really cool and you want to be able to easily reference it later. All you have to do is toggle on the highlight, highlight over the section that you want to highlight and then release. And this is automatically going to have this yellow highlight on it. So you can highlight through your documents, you can highlight equations, you can highlight anything that you need to be able to easily find that piece of information later. So I've highlighted a couple different things within here, but this is a very basic way for you to be able to highlight your PDFs. You can also place sticky notes. So all you need to do is click the sticky note it's always gonna turn blue with what's ever highlighted. And if you have comments that you have, so maybe here you don't really know what number density is, all you need to do is click there. It's gonna then place this sticky note there. If you double click on it, it'll come up with a comment. And all you need to do is put in what you want. So you can say, look up number density and then exit out of it. And that saves that comment there. So as you're going through, you can just place sticky notes wherever you want by coming up, clicking the blue and clicking on it, double clicking the comment and then typing in what you want and exiting out of it. So this gives us a couple different comments on our PDF. We can also underline. So you might create a system for certain things you highlight and then other things you underline. So maybe this is what you do for words you don't know or for papers that you wanna look up later. You can just kind of go through and say you want to do it for words you don't know. Then you can click on this uh, buffer gas number density and then that is now underlined here and you can come down. Let's say you wanna look up what thermal equilibrium is later. You just simply come through and underline. And the same thing works for the strike through. So if you click on the strike through, then you can come through and strike out any text. This is probably much more helpful whenever you're editing someone's paper because you probably don't want to strike out papers that you're actually interested in. But the underlining, the highlighting, and the comments can be really helpful whenever you're trying to annotate your PDF. And then you can always save them if you try and exit out of them, or you can go up by hit cancel, you can go up to file and save. So that's gonna save everything on that reference and then you're gonna be able to close it. So then that brings you back to this original thing. And if you look at the one that we edited, you can see it's edited in here. So the great thing about being able to make notes in your PDF is you can actually search through those notes. If you know that one paper has a great definition of something or explains something really well, you can easily just search your notes. So you can put a note on that section and say definition of something, and then you can search for that later. And so how you would search through your notes is up here in the quick search. If you go to show search panel, 
And then here you have any field. So you can turn this just into PDF notes or into any field and PDF notes. So if you look at PDF notes, if you remember earlier, I made a comment that said this is fun and that's obviously not going to be in any paper but if i search for this is fun it's going to pull up that one paper that i made the comments on so this can be really helpful for keeping notes whenever you're reading through to be able to easily reference what paper it was that talked about a specific thing and then i'm going to go back to all of my references up on the top left and hide this search panel so here's all my references again if you're compiling literature for a scientific paper you can get my scientific research paper checklist below that's going to help you walk through every step of how to complete your scientific research papers in order to have a higher success rate at publishing them and that's a free checklist you can get by downloading just by clicking the link below i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one